Hi everyone, it's Carol here today and I'd like to share some more Christmas projects with you. I am running behind, but I thought I would share these projects with you so that you would have some ideas for either you could do something like this in other themes other than Christmas or to give you ideas for Christmas. So I want to start with this cup right here. This cup is a die that was created by Nicole Silhouette that you can get on AliExpress. And as you can see, it's quite a large cup. I'm going to give you the measurement. So uh, even with the handle, it's eight inches across. And then the cup is about three inches tall. And it does come with this cute little die to make a spoon. And the spoon even is like a cradle type of spoon. It's really, really um, realistic looking. And I created this as a uh, decor piece for the home. And this right here is an AliExpress die that says Noel. The paper is from Prima. And... This one is not the sugar cookie, it's the Santa baby uh, right here. And as you can see, I decorated the back. I've got Santa right there. And these poinsettias are created with a Spellbinders die. These are not the uh, Tim Holtz die that I have been showing recently. And this is some ephemera from the sugar cookie die and i have a rosette from a Sizzix die back here and a pink snowflake and a rose gold doily and another rose gold doily it's really layered quite a bit as you can see right there and i have a couple uh, white bottle brush trees and some more ephemera from the sugar cookie collection and then this little uh, tea bag tag is uh, AliExpress dye. This did not come with the cup. I felt it needed a tea bag, so I made my own little Christmas tea bag. So that is that. And I posted this on Instagram if you follow me there. And I'm just doing a little explanation for you so you can see all the details in what I used. All right, and then this is a AliExpress die as well. This is a little Christmas tree shaker box. It's really cute. It is uh, very, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work to put it together, I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna open it. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> I don't think I have anything in there. <laughs> This is, oops, <laughs> this is the bottom of it. And you have to line all this up. And the same thing with the, the top. And then of course you have to create your shaker. And this little piece is a chipboard from the, uh, yeah, sugar cookie collection. And then this was a die from AliExpress as well. And the poinsettia is, uh, yeah, Spellbinders, and then I have a couple of Martha Stewart snowflakes in the background there. This is really, really pretty, but like I said, it, it's a lot of work to uh, create that, but I, I do love it. And then I have another uh, box here. This is another Nicole Silhouette die, and I followed a tutorial from Chase, uh, Tracy Farr. She gives a tutorial how to put this uh, little box together. And I have a magnet here and it opens up like this. It's like a, uh, what do you call it, an armoire. And inside you have all these cute little boxes that uh, open up. All of these. And so, I made this and I decided to decorate the top 
And so I had the I had made a bunch of these little paper houses and I've had them made up for a couple years now and I finally decided to put one on here and I also have this little ephemera snowman in my scene and I have a little pom-pom a little bow a little poinsettia this is Tim Holtz uh, greenery and this little tree on the top and I think it looks so Christmassy and I'm going to turn it around so that you can see the detail The die comes with all the pieces to create this. It does come with the die to do this, uh, you know, detailing on here. It does not come with the die to do this. Um, I just cu cut it myself in the back as well. It comes with the top die and the, the die to do that, all this. It just doesn't come with these pieces. It has the front pieces in the die and it does it does not have the decorative pieces for the drawer. I had to improvise for for my drawer. But that's just to give you an idea. This was fun to create and I really love that. I think that's so pretty. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is a memory dex. This is also a Nicole Silhouette die. I'm not sure if I told you that was. That's a Nicole Silhouette die. This is, I believe this is, I'm not sure, the, um, the Christmas tree. And this is definitely a Nicole Silhouette die. And I love making these. I do, there's so much work, but I love making them because I think they're so pretty. So this is from the Sugar Cookie Prima Collection. This is a piece of ephemera that I put on the side. And then same thing on this side, I use a piece of ephemera. All my cards are um, different dies that I have, uh, different memory decks dies. So we're gonna start with this right here. Most of the dies that I used on the cards are from Cottage Cuts. If you follow along with me, you know that I am a Cottage Cuts girl. I love my Cottage Cuts dies. So this one right here is called Snowman and Fence. You can see I saved one of my snowmen right there. <laughs> this is an adorable die. I love it. So to create this, I did um, use several layers for my fence because uh, if you can see that I wanted a lot of dimension in my fence and this is my own I do my own little sentiments on the computer and then cut them out with a ta tag die it's called tis the season to sparkle because that is very sparkly <laughs> and this actually works so we're gonna turn it around this is a piece of the ephemera and it says home for the holidays and I put a little lace behind there this one right here says Berry Merry Christmas. I love bears. And this is a Cottage Cuts die. And this is where my little bear comes from. It was from the homemade Christmas gift set. And it's this one right here. I believe that that was offered as a separate die out of this set at one time. but. I've had this quite a few years, but that's where mine came from. Isn't he cute? He is so cute. All right, and then this one is a piece of ephemera that said Happy Holidays. And this little deer is from Marianne Creatables. Isn't he darling? I'm not sure if he is still available. I've had this die for a while, and I think maybe this was the first year I used it. That's horrible, <laughs> but I love him. He's so cute. And this is COL1401, in case you're interested in that die. He's really cute. And then we'll go to this one. It says Gingerbread Kisses, and it is this Cottage Cuts die right here, Gingerbread Man and Cupcake. And I put just put a little candy cane in his hand. 
And this one right here is Christmas tea. It's just a little tag that's tied onto the cup. And that is a Cottage Cuts die. And that one is this one right here. It's called Teacup Snowman. Isn't he cute? Really cute. And then this uh, snowman right here is from the sugar cookie mold that was with that collection and I created him and painted him to match the paper and I used him on that card. This right here is a, an AliExpress die. I did not uh, bring it with me but it's a little shaker cookie or uh, candy, what do you call it, uh, dish. All right, and it says December 25th on it. And then I have this little Santa Claus, and he is a Marianne Collectibles. He's right here. You can see he's well used. This is uh, COL1391 is the die number on that, and I've had that for quite a few years, but I use that almost every year. I love that die. This one I was not able to find. It's somewhere in my craft room, but this is a Cottage Cuts die right here. It's called, Tis the, I put a little tag, Tis the Season. And then this is a piece of ephemera. Well, actually this is a chipboard from the collection. It says, Pink Christmas. Whoops. Then we have this one right here warm and cozy it's a little cup of cocoa and that one is this one right here i use the santa and it's warm and cozy cocoa and i love this die because it comes along with the little shapes to make cookies to go with your cocoa isn't that cute like little gingerbread cookies or cookies that are iced in different colors and it has little marshmallows and the frosting and a straw Really, really cute. I love that little snowman, um, Santa Claus, too. This one right here is a Cottage Cuts die called Chilly Willy Penguin. He's a cutie patootie, too. One of my favorites. And then we're back to the first card. And as you can see, this, all, this is all working. And it makes a great uh, December daily or things to write addresses, uh, different things that you can think of, put pictures on the back of this. Really, really nice to have. So I'd like to thank you all for watching my video today. I hope that you found some inspiration for your projects in the future. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting.